Since the 19th century, the manufacturing world has evolved at the pace of industrial revolutions. In fact, four major movements have shaped our way of producing from the past to the present. The first revolutions were propelled by new work methodologies such as assembly line work and the use of new energy sources, first steam and then electricity. The revolution at the end of the last century was driven by automation. Today, we are in the middle of a fourth revolution, Industry 4.0. In a few words, Industry 4.0 is characterized by the interconnectivity of systems through the Internet. Simply put, it is the ability of physical objects to communicate using sensors connected to a computer network. It is also the ability to use data efficiently to plan, optimize, and predict plant production. Artificial intelligence and augmented reality are other technologies specific to this industrial revolution. Industry 4.0 often refers to the concept of digital transformation. A company in digital transition is identified by its desire to digitalize its business processes in order to, for example, reduce its use of paper or to use data as a decision-making tool. More specifically in manufacturing, the terms smart manufacturing or smart plant are commonly used. Simply defined, they refer to plants where many of the equipment and processes are connected to improve operational performance. In short, they are often part of a digital transformation objective, achieving a fully connected plant. The automation pyramid is a model provided by the ISA 95 standard to explain the integration of enterprise and control systems. The lower level consists of all the signals and sensors of the machines. This is where sensors and signals interact to ensure the proper functioning of the equipment. This is the first step in communication between systems. The next level involves the computer, also known as PLC, from which the automation rules of the industrial equipment are programmed. Simply put, it is where the action parameters on which the equipment is based are set. The third level, SCADA slash HMI, allows the supervision of the two previous levels. The MES level corresponds to the system that handles production execution such as planning, production monitoring, results analysis, process optimization, and much more. This is the operational management level. The upper level, ERP, draws links between orders, the supply chain, accounting, and so on. This is where the executive management of the company takes place. It is the software that gives an overview of all the operations of a company. Let's imagine a situation at a horticultural product manufacturer's. A hardware store wants to purchase 1,000 bags of fertilizer. The ERP system receives the order and generates a work order that will be sent to the MES. The MES system processes the order and ensures optimal production, from the receipt of the work order to the dispatch to the storage area. The SCADA slash HMI systems receive the production parameters and communicate them to the PLC. The PLC system ensures that the automated systems perform the required actions, in other words, bagging the 1,000 bags. However, the bagging machine that is supposed to produce the order does not have enough raw material. Then, a sensor emits a signal to indicate that a parameter required for production is missing. According to the logic programmed in the PLC, the machine stops working. The MES records a downtime for which an operator will have to identify a reason so that a manager or engineer can analyze and optimize the production sequence in the future. Finally, when the raw material problem is solved, production is restarted from the SCADA slash HMI. There, you now know more about Industry 4.0 and the Automation Pyramid. If you enjoyed this video, we invite you to watch our video on the role of an MES.